Take us from here to here. Okay. Time and distance. Scrap your alum here. It was to um, to walk 600 metres onto a target, which more or less is kind of up this way. Um, this is quite a heavily forested area and uh, Peter's just pointed out that the forest workers would generally hack roads in yeah. um, where needed. Uh, so I walked past a point uh, which we are now going to investigate if it is the right point um, and see if we can orientate ourselves because it's quite difficult. It's quite difficult at the minute. There's lots of contour lines, but you can imagine in a forest, you, they don't really stand out so much. So, I'll, uh, I'll let you know what happens. So I've got my bearing. I've calculated that to walk 200 meters based on four kilometers an hour is three minutes. I didn't do that as part of a magic trick. Peter's got a lovely card, which apparently he's going to send me one. Oh, we're getting in there, good, are you? For a good comment on TripAdvisor. Um, but that card shows and breaks down the, uh, the time that you're going to be walking. So I now know that 200 metres, based on 4K an hour, is three minutes. Because I'm going up 30 metres, I add an additional minute for every 10 metres. So that's an additional three minutes. So basically in six minutes time, I'm going to be somewhere near the target. So I'm looking on my bearing and I've picked a tree out, which is exactly on target. I'm going to walk to that tree, get the compass out and get another bearing on site. So I'm going to start walking. Steve, uh, just negotiate some steep ground. Nobody wants to slip and get a thorn in the backside. You pause more than anyone else. They're everywhere. <laughs> right. Using the timing principle, I got to a point probably five metres below where we stood at the moment. The features on the ground didn't marry up so well with what I can see on the map. So we then came up to where we are now and I can make the ground fit the map. So from there, Peter's given me uh, a command to get to a, a height of 317, which is the summit of a local hill. So I've just been taking a bearing, and I'm basically gonna walk on that bearing until I can't go any higher. But I don't need to do any pacing or anything other than that. I've got a bearing, and I just wanna to get to the highest point on that bearing, so that's what we're doing. Better turn the other way. So, the bearing was to a lonesome pine tree, which is on top of a, a slate hill, which was just going to be slippy and horrible. There's a good path around the side of it, so I choose to go around the path, and I've come back, and I've got that tree, so I now know I can set my bearing. So, looking at where I've got to travel, two choices the choices being I can ask Peter to wander around the outside of this and I want to look on the bearing and wait for Peter's legs to come across and tell him to stop when he's on the bearing then I go around 
retake the bearing and continue or the second option is something called boxing so what I'm going to do is walk on that bearing to the edge of the, the, the trees and I'm going to pace count how many paces it takes me to go out walk along till I can then see the gap that I can see through the trees then walk the same amount of paces back and I'll be back on my bearing so I'm going to choose the second option and I'm going to use the technique called boxing to continue my bearing through the tree line the boxing technique I used to paced out 16 steps every other foot and then hoped to walk at a right angle to that to see a nice gap in the trees where I could then return 16 paces in to be back on my bearing and if Peter just spins around there's no there's no gap there's no gap in the trees so in this instance it's not going to be practical so what I'm looking at now are the features on the map to see what the terrain should be like somewhere near the target and then I'm just going to visually see if I can actually find that target.